The purpose of this video is to give a demonstration on how to open and save an Excel file and also password protecting that file for security purposes. On my laptop I'm moving my mouse to open up Microsoft Excel 2007 and the file opens up. I'm going to just enter some random information in some cells. This is not important for this demonstration, but just to show you that data has been entered. To begin the process, I need to begin with the save process. So in the upper left hand corner, I'm going to click on the office button and then move my mouse down to save as where I'll, I will be presented with several options. Excel workbook is how I want to save this file and I will click there. The save as window opens and two things need to happen traditionally here at this point. I need to give the file a name and I need to give the file a destination. So at this point I'm going to call this file Jim's passwords and here on the left I'm going to select desktop as my destination. So now I've determined that this file called Jim's passwords is going to be saved on the desktop. Traditionally I would just go to the save button and click save. However I do want to apply a password to this option so to the left of the save box I'm going to click on the option for tools. And when I click on the tools a drop down menu appears. I'm going to move to general options. When I click on general options another window appears on my screen to allow me to provide a password which will be required when opening the file. I'm going to move this window a little bit so it's easier for you to see and now I'm going to enter the password that I want to use as my security to get into this file each time I open it. I'm going to use the word passwords P-A-S-S-W-O-R-D-S -S -S, no caps although please be mindful that capitalization is an important part and the password will be case sensitive. If you wanted to add an additional password that would allow you to modify the file once accessing it you could add a secondary password as well. I usually do not so I will click on OK. At this point I'll be asked to confirm the password P-A-S-S-W-O-R-D-S. -S -S. I'm going to click OK and those windows close. So now I have a file to be saved on my desktop called Jim's Passwords and I will click on Save. Now that file has been saved. Of course if I want to add more information I can certainly do so while the file is still open. And at that point when I'm done I can move to the upper right, click on the close button. Of course I'm prompted to save the, pa to save the changes made to the file. I will click yes and the file is closed. On my desktop you will notice that in the upper left hand corner is my file Jim's passwords. Now to go back to it to either view it or make changes I double click. Microsoft Excel opens and now I am prompted to put in the password. P-A-S-S-W-O-R-D-S -S -S and click OK. The file opens I can make changes, I can delete information, I can add new information just as I would in any other file and when I'm done I would write in the upper right hand corner click on close I'll be prompted to see if I want to save the changes the answer in this case is yes the file closes. Each time I want to redo it I open up the file. I'll be prompted to put in my password. P-A-S-S-W-O-R 
ds click OK and there's the file. I hope that's helpful and that is how you can apply a password to a new file.